Hello everyone, today I thought I'd just record this quick video, uh, a video that's been requested a lot is to uh, demonstrate how to play Transport Roulette. Some of you may have seen my videos on Transport Roulette which I have played on the channel before, a uh, link to those will be in the description if you want to get some last minute sort of ideas of how your Transport Roulette around London may go, uh, then uh, do have a look at those videos. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, the rules of Transport Roulette uh, and how you can play. So, where can you play? Um, may seem obvious, you're playing in London obviously, but what part of London can you play in? Well, Transport Roulette is defined uh, as being played within the London's Rail and Tube Services map. Follow those words exactly and search that up on the internet. Um, and the most common play, and the most usually the most um, cost-effective way of doing that, is to use a London Zones 1 to 6 travel card. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot buy travel cards for London Zones 1 to 9, uh, so the furthest you can go is London Zones uh, 1 to 6. Um, so this allows you to travel up to Moor Park, Hatch End, Turkey Street, Enfield Lock, Harold Wood, Slade Green, that sort of uh, area. Uh, and not beyond that. And it's £13 for an adult, £6.50 for a child, or £9.80 uh, adult ticket with a rail card discount of a third. Uh, if you do this, you may not travel on any services that continue beyond Zone 6. So, yeah, Metropolitan Line towards Amersham Chesham, uh, London Overground uh, to Watford Junction beyond Hatch End, London Overground to Chesant beyond Turkey Street, Greater Anglia. Uh, towards Chesant via Enfield Lock, no further than that. Uh, Elizabeth Line further east than Harold Wood, uh, and South Eastern no further east than Slade Green, Varnhurst or Crayford. Uh, you may not take uh, any National Rail service out of Zone 6 2. It goes without saying you must not travel on any intercity services, uh, on, except where there is a stop within Zones 1 to 6. So for example, uh, Greater Anglia, uh, on their intercity London, Liverpool Streets and Norwich services, you can travel between London, Liverpool Street and Stratford, but no further. Uh, you may not use South Eastern High Speed between Stratford International and London Pancras or Heathrow Express uh, between Paddington and Heathrow's Terminal 3, uh, as the uh, Zones 1 to 6 travel card is not valid. However, if you are travelling to Heathrow Airport, you may use the Elizabeth line, uh, as you can, for some strange reason, uh, use a travel card on the Elizabeth line, but not on Heathrow Express, of course. Uh, you can use the Piccadilly line as well. Of course, with the London Zones 1 to 6 travel card, you can travel on any other mode of transport in London, uh, including Tube, London Underground, Elizabeth Line, DLR, National Rail, uh, Bus, of course, uh, Tram, Emirates Airline, all of that. Um, the only exception is that you cannot travel on riverboat services, uh, or use Santander cycle hires, or use private hires such as Ubers, or taxis, uh, or line bikes or line scooters or anything like that. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, um, alternatively, uh, you can travel using an Oyster card. If, if you do live in London or visit London frequently, you may very well have an Oyster card. And with that, um, you will be able to travel to Zone 9 stations, uh, out or Zone 7, 8 and 9, as well as some stations beyond where in special zones, so for example, Watford Junction, Radlett, Potters Bar, Hartford Northern, Hartford East, Broxburn, Shenfield, Grays via Radom and Ockenden, Gatwick Airport, and Epsom. Um, but do check uh, your Oyster balance before that. Uh, I do highly recommend doing it at London Zones 1 to 6 travel card, as it's usually the most cost effective way of getting around. So, what do you need to play? You need a valid uh, ticket or travel pass, of course. You're a good few hours of time. Um, best transport roulette games um, I usually play for around 5 or 6 hours. Um, although, uh, longer games can get slightly more tiring, uh, and shorter games can feel somewhat unfulfilling. Uh, you'll need a uh, free dice, or you can use a dice rolling app on your phone, for example. Uh, you'll need a map or journey planning app. I recommend City Mapper. City Mapper is great because it's a fully integrated transport information map. Um, it's got uh, bus, live bus times, live train times. Uh, you can use journey planning, seeing the quickest route to whichever station. It, and it, it doesn't just work in London as well, it works in tons of other cities, I do highly recommend it, it's not sponsored, but I just use it so often. Um, yes, and you will also need a starting location, uh, choose a sensible one, lots of transport modes available, go for Stratford, King's Cross, Clapham Junction, take your pick, uh, don't start off somewhere extremely random, uh, like a bus stop in Bromley which only has one route serving it every two hours, because that is an absolutely terrible decision. Uh, but it's completely up to you. I have a list of around uh, 50 stations which have more than three transport modes available uh, and at the beginning of the day 
Um, I select uh, one of those stations to travel to, and then we start transport roulette from there. Uh, final tip: Don't do not use Google Maps under any circumstances. Google Maps is completely useless in a city like London, because um, London is so complex, and there are so many different transport methods to go. Um, yeah, just don't use Google Maps because it's always wrong, um, and it always takes you the slowest way. Whether you're cycling, taking the train, or driving, or whatever. Anyway, these next few steps, um, there are fundamentally three things you need to do to uh, play transport roulette. Uh, you need to, so you're rolling a dice, uh, so you're rolling a uh, transport mode, um, which are shown down below. You're rolling a direction, and then a number of stops. Uh, that will become clear uh, as we go on. So, here are the dice rolls. You can roll one for Tube, two for London Overground or Elizabeth Line, three for DLR, four for National Rail, five for bus, uh, six for tram. Pause the video and go back if you do need uh, to check some of these. I have a full download of this document which is available in the description of the video below if you do want to uh, get some stuff uh, clarified. Um, if there is more than one tube line at a location you'll roll the dice again to determine the line. For example, if you are at Oxford Circus um, and you roll the tube, you have the uh, Bakerloo, Central and Victoria lines to choose from so you could go I don't know, like a, you could go one for Bakerloo, you could go two, cent, two for Central, three for Victoria, and the first one you roll is the one you travel on. Uh, the order doesn't really matter, but as long as the selection is random, it's okay. And um, of course, get the first train. For example, if you are um, at, let's say you're, yeah, let's say you're at Oxford Circus still, uh, and you're getting a Bakerloo line service northbound, the first train is a Queen's Park train, get that one, even if the next train goes to Harrow and Wheelstone, get the first train. Okay, going over to London Overground and Elizabeth Line, you get this if you roll a two. Uh, there are a couple of exceptions. Um, Gospel Oak and Clapham Junction, uh, you have uh, two London Overground branches. You've got the like, South London Line, West London Line, Gospel Oak, you've got the Goblin and the North London Line. And the same selection process, you, after rolling two, uh, you could roll a one for the North London Line, two for the Goblin Line, uh, etc. Just so you, um, the line is randomly selected. Some stations, um, for example Stratford, Romford, Whitechapel, Liverpool Street have both London Overground and Elizabeth Line, again same process, roll one for Elizabeth Line, two for Overground, and again get the very first train, for example, if you're at Highbury and Islington, um, and you're going towards, say, uh, Dalston Junction, um, if the Crystal Palace train comes before the West Croydon train, get the Crystal Palace train, don't, go, don't get the West Croydon train, there's no point. Okay, free DLR. Um, is this is pretty self-explanatory all the rules I've covered before a couple of confusing uh, exceptional circumstances for example at Poplar or Stratford again the same uh, National Rail um, you do will get stations with more than one train operator available um, for example Hearn Hill, Clapham Junction uh, what's another good station with two or more National Rail operators West Hampton, um, no not West Hampton Terms Inc, Spankish International maybe um, uh, yes and if you have a station of a large number of trains, I think it's if there's more than six trains in the first 15 minutes, um, then there is a special procedure you need to follow. Um, so if I go onto dice roller here, and I roll one dice, let's not roll 31 dice, um, and let's wait till we roll national roll. There we go. Uh, that is a four. Uh, and we get to a very busy station like London Waterloo. It's got lots and lots and lots of trains on the departure board. You don't know which one to pick. So what you're going to do is roll uh, a dice. Go, go. We've rolled a four. If you go on real time trains, and we search for the sixth, uh, oh, sorry, we search for the uh, fourth departure. If you roll a four, it's a fourth departure, and we can see it's 1717 17 now. So the uh, fourth departure. One, two, three. Four, Four, you will end up on this Weybridge train um, and that process is completely visual so you roll, you roll a number on your dice say you roll a four and you'll get the fourth train on the parch board if you roll a three then you get the third train on the parch board of course all of this is after rolling national rail and of course buses um, you may only travel on TFL bus routes if you try and travel on um, any other bus routes um, you will not be allowed on so for example uh, if you go down to, oh, for example, Potter's Bar, you have the uh, 610 bus route, which is not um, uh, operated by TFL, it's operated by UNO. You will not be allowed to travel on that. Similarly, uh, sort of around Swanley, Orpington, if you travel on the 477, you'll not be allowed on. 
Javelin like Hoxton area, you will not be able to get the 812 because you cannot um, use up basically any bus which is not operated by TFL, you may not travel. Uh, also, tram, um, always get the first tram. So, if you're at Sunderlands and you're going eastbound, the Beckenham Junction tram comes first before a new Addington tram, uh, then do get that one. Hopefully that made a bit of sense. If you do need to go back to uh, any of this, then of course the uh, document is available to download in the description. Now, after you've rolled your transport mode, you will need uh, to determine your direction. So, if you roll even, uh, then you are going northbound or eastbound. So that's if you roll a 2, a 4 or a 6 on the dice, you'll be heading eastbound. Um, and a good way to remember this is even, so you've got an E for eastbound, N for northbound, all in the same word. So uh, yeah, so so let's say we're at Potter's Bar. Uh, we've got roll just rolled National Rail, and we roll uh, even. Then that is uh, northbound or eastbound. <laughs> and of course, in Potter's Bar, you cannot go northbound or eastbound because you cannot travel north of Potter's Bar on an Oyster card uh, or on a Zone One to Six. You can't get to Potter's Bar on a Zone One to Six travel card anyway. But <laughs> yeah, you you'll be going that way. And of course, odd, you'll be going southbound or westbound. If you're at the terminus of a line, you can only travel in one direction, you can ignore the direction. So for example, uh, if we are at Potter's Bar, that's a very good example. You cannot travel uh, northbound, um, even if we have rolled a 6, you can only travel southbound. Uh, and finally, you need to roll two dice to determine the number of stops you are travelling on. Um, so you'll add, and to do this, you'll add the results of the two dice together. So for example, if you roll a 3 and a 5, you'd add them together. 3 plus 5 is 8, so you will travel for 8 stops. Okay, does that make sense? Um, first, so let's do, do an example of this. Uh, let's say we are at Shadwell and we have just rolled the DLR, which is rolled by a 3. Um, this is our transport mode. Uh, to roll a direction, we have rolled odd, so we're going westbound towards bank or tower gateway. And let's say the first train to arrive is a bank train. And we are going one stop. Uh, we are, oh, in fact, we should roll. We should have rolled two dice there. We are going uh, seven stops. Uh, the first stop is bank. Uh, we can only go to bank, so that's uh, where we go. And let's try another example of that. So we're on National Rail. Uh, say we are at Elephant and Castle. Um, we are going uh, northbound or eastbound because we have rolled in even, uh, and we uh, get two dice. Uh, and that is seven, so we go seven stops north of Elephant and Castle on a Thamesink service, uh, which I'm <laughs> assuming. Uh, and the first train to arrive is a Welling Garden City service, so we go uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stops. So we'd go to Oakley Park. Okay, so rules for each transport mode: um, if there are more than two lines at the station, you'll need to roll again to pick a line to travel on. Uh, I've just mentioned that. Uh, and every tube station you visit should have a sign saying, for example, like eastbound platform 1, southbound platform 4, and this should help you to determine the direction you're going if you don't quite know uh, which uh, direction to travel in. Um, you must add the result of each dice together to give a number of stops between 2 and 12. So if, if you rolled for the number of stops, you rolled 2 and 5, uh, you would add them together. 2 plus 5 is 7. You must always get the first train in the direction selected. OSIs, so between, for example, between Park Royal and Hangar Lane are permitted. So, for example, if you go to Park Royal uh, and you roll the tube, and then uh, you have two tube lines available in the vicinity, so if you are at Port Park Royal and you roll the central line, you can change to Hangar Lane, and that is allowed. And if the line terminates before the number of stops rolled is reached, get off at the terminus. Do not double back on the same line to cover the full number of stops. Uh, so, a good example we had there was. Um, on the DLR at Shadwell, we rolled seven stops westbound from uh, Shadwell, uh, but you can only go one stop to Bank, so you would only count that one stop. Don't start travelling eastbound again after you reach Bank. Uh, you must not travel to tube stations beyond Moor Park on the Metropolitan Line, so to Croxley, Watford, Rickman, South, Chorleywood, Chalfont, Latimerate, Amish, or Chesham as they are out of zones one to six. Travel to uh, Heathrow Airport is permitted on Oyster. So, if there are more uh, London Overground and Elizabeth line rules, if there are more than two overground lines at the station, this applies to Gospel Oak, Wilsdon Junction, Clapham Junction only, you'll need to roll again to determine the line to travel on. So, for example, you could roll one after rolling London Overground, roll one for 
North London line, two for what from DC lines, uh, in the case of Wollstone Junction. Uh, yes, yeah, so both of you have gone to Elizabeth Line, pass through the station, you'll also need to roll again to determine which mode to travel on. Some Elizabeth Line stations and some overground stations, certainly the Elizabeth Line stations in the core section between Paddington and Abbey Wood have this. Um, they have a direction, for example, eastbound platform 1, southbound platform 4. This will help you to knowing which uh, direction to travel. Stations do not have this. Uh, you can use, uh, I don't know, like a compass or just your general intuition of London to help determine the direction uh, of travel. You must use the first train. You must, yeah, you must get the, use the first train in the direction selected. OSIs are permitted, uh, and do not double back. Uh, so stations you cannot travel to: Carpenters Park, Bushy, Watford High Street, Watford Junction, because uh, they're out of zone six. Similarly, Turkey Street, uh, or beyond Turkey Street, sorry, so Fearells Grove, Chesant, uh, and you cannot travel obviously beyond West Street and on the Elizabeth Line towards Ivor, Langley, Slough, Burnham, etc. And you cannot travel beyond Harold Wood on the Elizabeth Line to, to Brentwood and Shenfield. Out of zones one to six, unless you're using an oyster. You can travel to Heathrow Airport, but on the Elizabeth line only, so you cannot travel on Heathrow Express. Much of this is uh, similar to uh, the uh, London Overground. Uh, general direction of the train, for example, northbound, eastbound, southbound, westbound will help you uh, determine the direction of travel. Okay, National Rail, this is where it starts to get a bit more complicated. If there are less than four, oh sorry, it's less than four trains in 15 minutes, you should get the first train in the direction selected. If there are more than four trains in 15 minutes, roll the dice again to determine which train to get. For example, rolling a six would get you the sixth train on the departure board. Uh, and in this case, the direction you roll is irrelevant. Um, because after we're just getting the whatever train in whatever position on the departure board, and so the direction is not particularly important. You may not travel on uh, Avanti West Coast, LNER, South Eastern High Speed, Gatwick Express, Heathrow Express, East Midlands Railway, or any other intercity or uh, services with special fares, where you, or where you would travel out of zones 1 to 6. Uh, you cannot travel to Heathrow on the uh, Heathrow Express, but as for mentioned, you can travel on the Elizabeth Fly. Okay, buses. Uh, this is uh, probably the most one of the most common transport modes you'll end up on because um, almost everywhere has buses and rolling a bus is slightly different so first of all what you want to do uh, is you want to roll three dice uh, and multiply the result of each dice together so um, let's get back onto this website let's roll three dice six-sided dice um, so we get six times six times five uh, this is saying 17 here but that's just the sum of the dice um, do <laughs> yeah uh, do do not add them together uh, you need to multiply them together, so you would do you 6 times 6 times 5, the same as 36 times 5, which is 180. So you, you would get the bus route which is closest to 180. Uh, for example, uh, I don't know, if you were at a bus stop which had the bus routes 130 and 200, and you rolled 180, you would get the 200, as it is uh, uh, slightly closer uh, to uh, 180, 200 is. Uh, yes, uh, you must travel on the bus route numerically closer to the product of the three dice. And if a location has prefix routes, uh, for example, these would be like the H12, C3, W15, uh, like the ones that have a letter in front of the route, uh, ignore the prefix and treat the routes as 12, 3, and 14. So the H12 would just be 12, the C3 would just be 3, uh, and W15 would just be, or I'll just correct that, that would be 15. And the general direction of the bus route will help you to determine direction of travel, bus stops don't usually have a um, direction indicator. Um, if the route terminates before the number of stops including curtailments, um, buses do get um, curtailed occasionally, I'm not mentioning any, any operators but <laughs> it is very possible. Um, so if you are on the 22 say um, heading towards Putney Common and your bus gets terminated at Parsons Green and then you'll finish at Parsons Green, you'll not get on the next bus to continue your journey down towards Putney Common. Uh, tram, uh, this is again very very similar um, di general direction of the line, uh, rolling number of stops and uh, do not double back on the same route, do not double back on the same route on any uh, transport uh, route you're travelling on. Uh, exceptional circumstances, occasionally some things will happen while you're out travelling that are out of your control, for example if you've been waiting for a tube over on Elizabeth London yellow bus or tram for more than 15 minutes uh, or national rail or more than 30 minutes then you are able to uh, roll again, uh, so to choose a different mode of transport, just to save you from waiting. 
Um, if severe disruption is taking place in a line road, for example, if you're at Green Park and you've got Road the Tube, and you've got Piccadilly Line, Jubilee Line, Victoria Line, and say the Victoria Line is experiencing severe delays, you can discount that and roll again so that you're not stuck in <laughs> severe disruption. Uh, yeah, if your bus or tr train or tram is curtailed, uh, then just get off and roll again. Do not continue your journey. If a bus stop is closed, uh, just ignore that. Um, so let's find a good example of this. Uh, it's gone to TFL's website, uh, and <laughs> I don't know what route should we do. One, two, five. Um, say church. Say you're at Eversley Mount, um, and you want to travel. You want to travel five stops. If Church Hill bus stop is closed uh, from Eversley Mount, you'll count uh, one stop Parkgate, two stops Queen Elizabeth Drive, three stops St Thomas's Road, etc. You will not count the closed stop uh, as the bus is not stopping there, so you would not count one one Church Hill, two Parkgate, three. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Um, if you are unable to access a station or stop, for example, if it's closed due to a strike or a closure. Uh, or if you're unable to access the station, if you require something like step-free access, um, then of course you are able to roll again so that it is more convenient for you and you're not stood waiting outside the station for help or uh, <laughs> waiting outside the station indefinitely because it's closed. Um, similarly to bus stops, uh, for example in 2021 South Kensington station on Piccadilly Line was closed and if you're at Knightsbridge and rolled two stops westbound, uh, you would travel to Earl's Court, not Gloucester Road. You would count the first station as Gloucester Road, then Earl's Court, uh, because South Kensington is closed. Uh, and very, very occasionally, uh, when you're rolling a bus route, you'll roll a bus route where the two routes are numerically equidistant from the free dice road. So, um, for example, uh, if you are at a, uh, I don't know, let's say, uh, what, what's a good example of a um, bus stop. Is that, I think it's Wood Green. There's a bus stop in Wood Green. Was it Wood Green Shopping City? Oh no, Lordship Lane. Here we go. Um, uh, Lordship Lane has both the 29 and the 67 bus routes. Um, say you rolled 48. Um, so 48 uh, is this is as far apart um, from uh, 67 as it is from 29. Uh, because they're both 19 apart and this has happened to me before it's very very rare but it can happen to you uh, and in this case just get whichever bus route comes first it's so rare that it's not worth like <laughs> um, creating problems with just get whichever bus route comes first for example if we're at Lordship Lane you see the 29 comes before the 67 so just get the 29 okay that is the end of these rules hopefully that made some sort of sense and you are able to understand slightly better how to play transport roulette uh, if again if you need any more help or if you think something in this document is inaccurate or you want to change uh, then do send me an email at this address here uh, or comment on my how to play transport roulette video which you are uh, watching now uh, if you are still unsure of anything uh, then do uh, go back and watch my uh, videos um, as I do sort of explain my thought process on rolling a dice and stuff like that and of course, uh, Transport Roulette is not exclusively to play in London. For example, um, in a few days' time, I'll be uh, heading off to Sapporo in Japan. Uh, and you'll be perfectly able to play Transport Roulette. Uh, basically, any city uh, which uh, has more than two transport modes, I say, three transport modes, um, you can probably play Transport Roulette. Uh, it doesn't even have to be a real place. You can probably play Transport Roulette in um, a game like Stepford County Railway or something like that. <laughs> Honestly, so yes, best of luck with your transport roulette game. Um, do keep me updated. Send me messages to see say how much you've enjoyed it. I'm sure you will. Yes, and I'll see you again. I hope this video has been uh, helpful in some way. See you next time.